Hi everyone, this is me Pratish. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we are going to create a very simple keylogger just using Python. This is going to be a fun and very basic project which we are going to use for educational purposes and you can use to prank your friends. So let's start the project. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a keylogger application. This should be modern and beautiful. And even though you can hover over the button and click on that button in order to start the key logging process, then it will write into a file which is known as logger.txt where the key presses are being recorded. So with that being said, let's start coding. So first of all, let's set up our project. We will need to import certain essential modules like paths from the pathlib, tk, canvas and button as well as photo image from tkinter, thread and threading and keyboard input from the pineput. So here we go, we have imported the pathlib from path and the tkinter, we have imported tk, canvas and button and photo image in order to add that image background that we have created using Figma and this threading from thread and then also we need to import the pie input from keyboard. Now first of all we have created a very simple UI just using Figma and this is a very simple UI that we have created. This consists of a complete file which is customizable. You can buy this entire project from the description down below if you want to customize this application according to your need. Otherwise a free code is also available on our GitHub page. So we have designed a very simple Figma based UI and we will be exporting each of the image into background and also as a button. So we will be creating two buttons. The first one is the simple button and the second one is the hover button. Now in the next step, we will be defining the path to our assets and set up the main window. So in this case, we have set the output path over here. I have kept all my assets in the document folder and also we have returned that path over here. So let's create the main window for our application and configure its property. For example, in this we are creating a window of basic 900 into 600. We have created the same UI inside Figma and we will be also changing the background over here and changing the title to Keylogger. Now let's set up a canvas to draw our elements. So in the canvas we have set up the very simple background with a height that is uh, set as the configure method over here and with a height which is same to the geometry of the window and the width as same as the geometry of the window again. And we have set this style to rich and also placing the canvas to 0 and 0 again. So let's add the image to the canvas that we have exported from our Figma file. So we have exported two images. The first one is for the background and the second one is for the button. So let's start up by the background part. So we have imported the button over here. We will be using the photo image method and we will be importing our image which is image1.png with the argument of 450 and 300. Now this will help us in order to place our image. So now let's add a button to start the key logging process. We will be also implementing a hover effect for the button. So in this case, we have added the image again using the photo image method. And I have just imported the image from over here from the document file. And again, we have exported that same image using the Figma file. Now we will be defining the hover over here that the first image should be for the hovering of the button and the, on leaving the button it should show the second image over here. Now let's implement the key logging functionality using the pi input library. We will be defining a function to log the key presses. For example in this case we have created a very simple file known as logger.txt. So we are basically logging out each character from the keyboard and then writing it into the logger.txt file. We will be also creating a function to start the key logging in a separate thread. So in this case, in order to start the key logging, it will show that key logging started and then it will start the key logging over here. And we will be using that start method to start the key logging. Finally, we will make sure that our window is not resizable and start the main loop even though. We will be using this resizable method with the width of walls and height of walls so that it can't be resized again. And we will be starting our main loop. And that's it, we have successfully created a GUI keylogger using Python and Tgainter. Now you can see that how the keystrokes are being logged into the logger.txt file. So this was it, I hope this video was really helpful and if it was then consider subscribing, hit that like button below. I will meet you in the video, until then keep learning, goodbye.